Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Fantasy Football. It's time for the international break. But do not worry, I got you, I got you covered guys. I'm here to bring you guys a lot of FPL stuff, maybe a few different stuff as well throughout the international break. So I don't think a lot of managers have spoke about um, their season so far and the plans and strategies that they actually used. So what I was thinking to do is go through my game week history for this season and basically go through it with you guys and talk about what my plans were, what I was trying to do and what I'm going to be doing in the next coming game weeks and in that Christmas period. So this is my game week history for this season. Um, so basically at the beginning of the season i did a lot of research guys and i'm telling you guys the best tip that i can give you is do a lot of research if you want to become very good at the game research is the key researching if the player is injured how long he's out for is very important um if that player is match fit is important as well because that will determine you okay he might play 60 or maybe 90 you know things like that Finding out other injuries like within that team that actually helps that team do better is important as well. And of course, we need to look at form and stuff like that. And the biggest help this season was the World Cup because a lot of um, players were out. They had an extended holiday. So it gave us a little like an easier option or, or easier uh, chance for us to kind of create our team for at least... For the next coming game weeks now what i did was i gathered a lot of information and i brought in really strong players fit them all in uh for at least for like one to game week four so that was my plan to get a team set up for this and of course look as you can see let me just go through game week one just just i'm not gonna go through all of it but it's quite important like research has helped me get this guy when was uh for Point zero million player at the beginning of the season these are the players that i'm talking about um, finding out which players are actually playing and cheap players like this will actually help you out a lot guys so that was the plan so i did a lot of research in the beginning and then for the next like four game weeks i had a really good team then he went down here a little bit and in game week four so after game week four I used my wild card. Now I did that. I used the wild card after game week four because there was a lot of players that came back from the World Cup, and there was a lot of players that were key member for for their team. So I tried to get all these players, and plus a lot of prices were changing a lot. So early stages, the price goes up and down very very quickly. Nowadays, it's only one or two players. That time, it's like, oh my god, we need to go and get this one. We need to go and get this one. And then slowly, we have like gathered like a template of a team. Don't get me wrong. Don't be ashamed to have a template team. I am not ashamed to it. What I was thinking to do in the next coming game weeks is upgrade them. Upgrade that template team. We need to. You can't go without these players. like Because these players are template team for a reason. Because they're doing really well. So... The plan was for after game week four to plan for at least four game weeks ahead. Did really well. I gained a lot of rankings. As you can see, 15k, 17k, you know, dropping around. It's fine. And with all these kind of plans, it stopped me from taking a lot of additional hits and transfers. The good thing it was that I was actually doing well, so I didn't need to adjust my team a lot. I guess if you start off badly, then it might be a little bit more difficult for you to kind of adjust quickly because you need to make a lot of transfers to get, you know, get a better team. So now it's come to the point where it's gone downhill a little bit more. As you can see, 33 was like the lowest of the low uh, for the season. Then it went back up. So now I want to prepare for the next coming game weeks. So for 13, 14, 15... And at least 16. That's the plan. And then another chunk will be the, the last periods of the Christmas um, period. 
So that is the strategy. I know it sounds all boring, guys, but these are very, very essential um, to kind of have something in it, like something. I know the fact that some plans don't work out, and I don't, and I totally understand that. Like me, I was thinking to back my transfer and use it for game week thirteen. I couldn't because I had to adjust. So these things happen, but having something, like having an idea of what you want to do is very, very good. It sounds like I know everything. I don't know everything. It's just doing all these research and, and following a lot of people and getting all these information. It's actually improving my skills even better. So as you can see, my team is just been getting destroyed one by one. For me, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to relax. I'm not going to do anything crazy. Um, sort of like maybe around in the weekend, I might start to think about what I really want to do. Now, I think the best thing is, let's just say for me, is to adjust my team. And if there is any injuries for game week 13, I will actually will, you know, remove that player and getting another player that is actually fit and ready to go. So that is the plan so far because, um, yeah, there's just a lot of injuries. But what I wanted to do is give you guys a few options. Like, I bought in Martial because, yes, he's on form. I didn't really expect him to do well against Manchester City or actually score. Sorry, not well. Score against Manchester City. But I wanted to bring one or two Manchester United player because of the next four game weeks. Um, Crystal Palace at home, Southampton away, and Arsenal at home is actually decent for Manchester United to do something with, and Fulham at home. These are an amazing fixtures for this team to actually do well and get a lot of points, a lot of goals and stuff like that. So getting a lot of like Manchester United players right now could be ideal. A lot of people's talking about Anthony Martial to get him in the team. I already bought him. I'm quite happy that he gave me some returns. Now, we're going to look right. I might be forgetting a few teams, but I'm just giving you some examples to think about. And then later on, I will gather a lot more information and then we'll go through it again. Um, well, I'll go through it with the transfer stuff. I think that's the best thing to do. As you can see for Everton, Cardiff at home. Okay, Liverpool is going to be difficult. That's, that is difficult. And then these lovely home fixtures for Everton. Newcastle at home, Watford at home. These are very, very good. Now, players like Richarlison, maybe even Sigerson, maybe some defenders as well. If I if I look, this guy is really like is on my radar. Oh my God, he's so on my radar. He's ridiculous, is this guy here. He's 4.8. I know he's only got one assist and three clean sheets. Don't worry about that. The eye test says he's good. Um, he's taking corners, guys, and I'm pretty sure that very, very soon he's gonna get a bunch of um, assists. Taking a defender taking a corner is fantastic. So these are the things I'm looking at. Um, I'm sorry that if I kind of go out to like each and individual teams like Arsenal and stuff like that, what I'm gonna do is go through it. Like, go through these teams and see um, if there's a amazing fixtures for each of these players. That's what I'm going to be doing. I think that's the best thing to do. Um, here's another team to look out for, guys, um, is Spurs. Now, a lot of Spurs players are coming back. They, the defense is still injured. Like, they, they are going to con I think they're going to concede a lot. But Deli Ali is back. Um... Ericsson is slowly coming back, so they're getting more creativity in the team. And like Harry Kane, Harry Kane for Christmas, eh? Um, like, as you can see, after that Arsenal game, I mean, they could it could probably still do well here, but you want to bring in a player that is going to do like, it, like even better than the last few games. Spurs got an amazing, amazing run in that, in, uh, I was going to say international break, but in that Christmas period. So stuff like this is very important to kind of plan things out. Now, I'm not saying bringing Kane, but, you know, just have a look at your team, see what you got, 
see what you need, um, see what fixtures are amazing, and then start bringing them players in and start planning for the next uh, few game weeks. Now, Sergio has been doing incredible. I know a few people are thinking about removing, but if a guy is continue to score, why remove him? And yeah, just things like that, guys. I thought I'll just have a chat. I mean, I came from work, you know, finished, I thought straight, you know what, let's go and talk. It's a bit like, uh, I'm going to make a transfer video, guys. I think it's very difficult for me to kind of give you guys this, 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 that. I think talking is and fight and planning things out is very, very important as well. So for my next video, I'm thinking to create like a, a transfer video. So I'll try to fit in as much as uh, players that I think that is going to do well in the next coming game weeks. And then we'll go for a preview and maybe a live stream, maybe even more. Anyways, guys, sorry for all that. Um, sorry if it was boring, but I think it's very essential to kind of talk about these things. And it's something for you guys to uh, to watch while you we are in the international break. I nearly messed that up as well. Anyways, enjoy this break. Um, don't make any crazy transfers right now. Um, just relax. Wait for the videos. And then we'll make some movements. And we'll plan things out. So in the comments below, let me know what strategies that I should talk about. Uh, if there is a, an incredible strategy that you got, okay, maybe don't tell us, but if you want to help out, let me know. And then I'll go through the video uh, for like the video and then we're going to talk about it as well and help others as well. And that is about it. Woo. Ah, all right, guys. Enjoy this break. I won't be, well, I will be enjoying it, but. You know, I'll be creating some videos for you guys. Uh, just support the channel, guys. Like always, let's see if we can get up to 100 likes. It'd be incredible. And that is about it. Thanks, guys. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you guys next time. See ya.